about you. Hallelujah. How many come to have church? One more time. Amen. Not guaranteed tomorrow. Not guaranteed next week. But we've got right now. Right now. Hallelujah. If this was your last service, if this was your last time to be in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, how would you worship? Amen. How would you praise the Lord if you knew this was it right here? Oh, glory to God if you knew the trumpet was going to sound tonight. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's just lift up our voices and praise the King of glory right now. Yeah, I love you, Lord. I praise you and I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the Holy Ghost power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah for your hand upon us, uh, for your protection upon us. Uh, thank you for your healing virtue and your healing power. Hallelujah, God. We stand in your strength. Uh, we stand in your grace today. Uh, I pray, Lord God, that you will just fill this place. Uh, fill us, Lord God, with everything that you have. Lord, we want to be like a shark in a big ocean. Uh, oh! to be in the mighty expanse of the almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. This is what we come to do. Oh, tear down strongholds, break the chains. Find the devil in Jesus' name. We've got a right Shake the foundation with praise Glory, hallelujah This is what we've come to do Tear down strongholds, break the chains By the devil, by the devil in Jesus' name Tonight, we've got a right To shake the foundation with praise Glory, hallelujah. This is what we've come to do. We'll tear down strongholds, break the chain. Find the devil in Jesus' name. Tonight, we got a right to shake the foundation with praise. Praise him. Praise him. The Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy, oh, yeah. the Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise, glory, hallelujah. This is what we've come to do, tear down strongholds, break the chains, find the devil in Jesus' name. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise, praise Him. Come and praise Him. Praise Him. He's worthy. The Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy. Yeah. The Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise. Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise. Glory, hallelujah. This is what, this is what we've come to do. Tear down strongholds, break the chains. Find the devil in Jesus' name. Tonight, we've got a right. Shake the foundation with praise, praise Him, praise Him. The Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with The Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise. Praise Him. Praise Him. The Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy, the Lord is worthy. Tonight, we've got a right to shake
tonight We've got a right to shake the foundation with praise name tonight we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise praise him praise the lord for someone who can praise him tonight him. the lord is worthy the lord is worthy yeah. the lord is worthy the lord is worthy tonight we've got a right to shake the foundation with praise My goodness, my goodness. Even with a small crowd like we've got tonight, there is still a presence here. No matter if there's just two or three of us here, God is in this house. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't know about you, but hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been excited about tonight. I know that Brother Martin got me stirred up today. My wife and I have been having conversations about what's going on, what's trying to happen in this world, what we need to be looking out for. Yes. Come on. Am I right? Come on. Am I right? There's something about Come on. what's going on. Come on. There is an agenda hallelujah. going. Hallelujah. There is hallelujah. something that's hallelujah. trying to come against the church. Right. That's right. Amen. And this is the time where we have to be stronger than ever in our faith. Yes. And in God, this is it. This is what we've all been talking about. The soon coming of Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but that's actually exciting to me. That's, ex that's exciting to me. I cannot believe that I might see Come on. the soon coming right. Jesus Christ. There's nothing to be afraid of. This might be the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, Well, I don't know about you, but I know there are many, many, many blessings or many uh, prayer requests that are going on tonight. Those that are in the hospital, I believe Brother Jeffrey came home today. Is that right? Yes. Brother Jeffrey came home to today. That is yes. a really, really good report. I told you we would start seeing some good reports, and I claim it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But right Amen. now there are Amen. many, many, Amen. many needs that we need to go to the Lord uh, tonight too. And I'm telling you, I want you to speak yeah. their name. I want you to be specific in how you pray for them. This is the time that they need you the most. Just like I said last weekend, our pastor and his wife, they needed us, and they still need us tonight. So let's go to the Lord, and let's have faith tonight. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you will reach down again your hand of healing upon your people. Hallelujah, yes. every family member. Hallelujah, every every friend, every co-worker that's in this place. Hallelujah, they need you. They need a touch from you like never before. Hallelujah, every muscle, every organ, every blood type. Hallelujah, every bone. 
Hallelujah. You're able to touch it. You're able to mend it. You are the great physician. But Lord, keep your hand upon every doctor and every nurse. Hallelujah. That's helping our family. Hallelujah. And we ask you in the name of Jesus to touch us tonight, God. We need you. We need you now more than ever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise as if it's already done. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's here. That same power is here. And it can reach across the world. Come on. No matter where they're at, God can touch them. God can speak to them. God can heal them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I stand on that word. I stand on those promises that he's given me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for being in service here tonight. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Pentecostals of Atascacita. If this is your first time, thank you so much. Other than that, I'm telling you, even our, even our regular saints here, thank you for being here tonight. This is, Amen. this, I guarantee you, blesses your pastor's heart for you to come out here tonight and celebrate what God is doing in your life. So thank you very much. We want to give you this opportunity to give tonight in your tithing and your offering. Hallelujah. There are many, many needs just financially in this house that we need to go to the Lord with. But again, well, let's put it this way. And I, I'm sorry, Brother Martin. I, I, there are so many things that go through my head when it comes to things like this. God, I, I want all of you to know, God can, God can meet every need. God has never failed me. I can honestly say that. God has never, ever let me down. And God can touch you tonight. God can touch you through your giving. God can touch you through your praise. This is a form of praise. And God can do so. You all have an example where God has come through because you've helped someone else out. And I mean it. I promise you, this is something that is... uh, that I, I, I know that we all struggle with, but I know tonight if you'll give, if you'll sacrificially give, God will meet you and he will take care of that need if you'll place it in his hands. So let's go to the Lord tonight for our offering. Thank you, Jesus, for another chance to give. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our church. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for our families in our church. Thank you, Lord, for every need that you need that you met already. And thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do. And we ask you, Lord, that you will multiply, that you will overflow every heart tonight, Jesus. Whatever it may be, God, we know that you're there. And we ask you, Lord, to use it, hallelujah, to build your church in the name of Jesus. As you come, be mindful of those around you as you come down the aisles. But come and give to the Lord. Darkness, you 
shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power Our God Our God Our God is greater Our God is stronger God you are
Hallelujah, hallelujah. If God be for you, who shall be against us? Hallelujah. Lord, we love you and praise you and we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence and for your spirit. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, come on. We've come to praise the Lord tonight. Hey, this is a great day to be living for the Lord. Hallelujah, this is a great day to be serving the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. I feel the healer in the house. Oh, I feel the deliverer in the house. Hallelujah. Everything that we need, it is here tonight. Hallelujah. He said it in his word, and he cannot lie. He shall supply all of our need according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. Aren't you thankful today, right now, that you can come in faith? You can come believing and knowing there is a storehouse, and it does not run empty, and it does not run dry. Hallelujah. I've heard so much throughout this COVID stuff. So much. They, they talk about these transportation vehicles that bring in your groceries and that bring in the gasoline, that bring in the oil. 45% of them are sidelined. All that transportation that's normally bringing, 45% of them are sidelined. They haven't been able to get drivers and all of these things. It's disruption in every area, in every way, disruption everywhere you go. doesn't matter if it's restaurants or stores and electrical supply places and whatever it might be. And they're talking about not able to get this, not able to get that, and not able to get this, not able to get that. But I'm going to tell you right now, God said, I'll supply all of your riches. Hallelujah. Everything that you need. Everything that you need, God will supply according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. God will make a way for his people. He will always make a way. He will always make a way for his people. Hallelujah. He has all throughout the word of God. And now we are sitting here in this end time hour right now. Hallelujah. A lot of people are holed up in fear, chewing their fingernails. People's hearts are failing them for fear. But friend, I got something in me that's rising up and says this is our hour. This is the hour of the church. This is where we walk in the power that God gives us. This is where we lean not on our own understanding, but we lean upon God and we trust God. God, and we trust he'll supply. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise God. Praise God. His transportation system isn't shut down. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, he's got everything we need. He's the healer. He's the provider. Amen, 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 amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. So good to have all of you in the house of the Lord. Thank you for coming and worshiping. Amen. Everything has been different uh, for the last few weeks because of the COVID outbreak. Over 20 people in our church ended up with COVID and all of that. So if this is your first time here, just know this isn't the norm as far as what you see. We normally have more musicians, and hallelujah, and we normally have more people. But you know what? The Lord is here. And he said this, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And so why don't we welcome Jesus right now? Why don't you just welcome him and say, come on, hallelujah. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Lord, we thank you for being with us. We thank you for being here in the house of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. If you'll turn me to Revelation chapter 4, and I'll begin reading 
verse 1 and verse 2. Those that are watching live stream, thank you so much for joining us, worshiping the Lord with us, and being a part of what God is doing. And we speak healing to your bodies. Those that are sick out there, we speak healing to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And those that are here to worship, God bless you. Thank you for coming to the house of the Lord and worshiping the Lord with us. Revelation, oh, I've got to stop for a second. Brother Booth, you're the man. (laughs) Thank you. That problem we had where the thieves, the thieves, they hit us. How many air conditions did we get hit on? How many? Three. Three. Three air conditions. We got him. We got him on camera. We seen him out here and all that stuff, but had no idea that I just thought, you know, he got spooked off. But three of our air conditions wasn't working this morning. Come to find out they had cut the wires and was trying to steal copper and all the stuff that they do. Thank God we have electrician. You got it, got on it, and here we are. All of our air conditions are kicked in and they're working, and we just we praise God. Thank you, Brother Booth. Amen. And I want to say thanks to the to the help. I think it was Clay that helped there. And we just we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So that means I won't sweat as much. Hallelujah. I won't sweat as much, but I'm always going to sweat when I preach. Amen. I'm just one of those preachers. I can't be still. I just can't. Hallelujah. One time I had somebody talk to me after church. This was when I was a young preacher. And said, I want to give you some constructive criticism. Can you receive it? I said, yeah. He said, if you'll stay behind the pulpit, you'll do much better. I got depressed. If I got to stay behind the pulpit, I can't do that. Hallelujah. I got to move around. I got to to let this out of me. Hallelujah. And well, I've never been able to stay behind the pulpit, but God's helped me through the years. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for the, the mighty anointing power of the Holy Ghost moves in us and moves upon us and shakes us and makes you want to dance and move around and say hallelujah. Amen. Revelation chapter 4 and reading verse 1. After this I looked and behold a door was opened. And everybody say in heaven. And the first voice which I heard. This is John the Beloved. The first voice that I heard was, as it were, a trumpet. It was like a trumpet talking with me. And it said, come up hither. And I'm going to show you things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on that throne. Somebody say one. One sat on that throne. Hallelujah. I don't know how many you're expecting to see, but I'm only expecting to see one. Hallelujah. And his name is Jesus. There's only one that's worthy to open up the book. He's called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, there's only one worthy. Hallelujah. Aren't you thankful today to know him? Aren't you thankful to know the name Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, the demons, they believe and they tremble is what the Bible said. Hallelujah. you got to be more than a believer because the devils believe. Hallelujah. You need to receive the Holy Ghost like the Bible talks about. Amen, amen, amen. Let's lift our hands and praise God one more time. God, we love you and praise you and we thank you for those that are here today and all that are watching on live stream and what you're doing and what you've done and that healing virtue in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. I want to talk to you on the subject, the voice of the trumpet. The voice of the trumpet. In the Old Testament, the instrument that God chose for calling the assembly 
and the gathering of his people is the trumpet. How many has been listening? There's going to be an assembly and there's going to be a gathering together like you've never, ever seen before. It is very soon to be. Oh, hallelujah. That trumpet is going to sound. But the trumpet God chose as representation of the voice of God. The instrument that God chose for telling his people, go forward, was the trumpet. Hallelujah. God chose it to be the instrument. When that trumpet blows, something is going to happen. When the trumpet blows, things are going to get stirred up. And the people of God are going to move. And they're going to move forward. God chose to send messages and to communicate throughout ages of time to his people and lead them with a trumpet. Numbers chapter 10, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, and he said, Make two trumpets of silver. Of a whole peace shalt thou make them, and thou shalt may use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow, all of the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door, the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are the heads of thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves together. When you blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. Of course, y'all know who was on the east side. Hallelujah. That was the tribe of Judah. I was preaching about that this morning. Amen. They're the front lines. Hallelujah. The tribe of Judah praise is going to get out there and going to face the giant. Hallelujah. And whenever you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that are on the south side will take their journey and they'll blow an alarm for their journeys. And when the congregation is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you will not sound an alarm. The trumpet, it was used for the gathering of the congregation. It was used to send out an alarm to awaken the people and say, rise up and go forward. It was used to tell them, the voice of God is speaking, go forward. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Go forward. But oh, we got a problem. How are we going to go forward? Look at the wall. Look at the enemy. Look at what we're dealing with. I heard the trumpet. Go forward. God's going to be in it. God's going to lead. God's going to make a way. And the trumpet was used to tell them, go forward. When everything they could see was an enemy before them. If they were in the trenches and they were holed up with fear, God would use the voice of a trumpet to tell them to go forward. Are y'all with me? Somebody, somebody say this with me. Arise. Get up. And go forward. If they were in the trenches and that trumpet would sound, they would rise, get up, and they would go forward. And they would face whatever that opposition would be. When you go back to the dedication of the temple, Solomon's temple, that was it was it was detailed by David. And y'all know that. When Solomon built the temple, it was in the accordance that David had said it to be. 
Everything. Everything. It was detailed by David. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 5 and verse 12, the Levites, which were the singers, all of them of Asaph and Heman and Jedithan, with their sons and their brethren, being arrayed in white linen, having cymbals and psalteries and harps, they stood at the east end of the altar. And with them, 120 priests sounds the trumpets. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 120 priests. They are going together, sound of sound. It represents the voice of God. They're going to blow the trumpets. I want y'all to catch on because I'm, I'm telling you, this will make you want to shout. Anybody ever heard of the number 120? One hundred and twenty priests. When that de- that temple was being dedicated, one hundred and twenty sounds of trumpets blasted. Does that number ring a bell to anybody? If you are familiar with Pentecost at all, this should ring a bell. Because everything we shout about goes back to Acts the second chapter. When he said, I am going to have humanity to be the temples for the Holy Ghost. I don't want to dwell in temples made by the hands of man. Acts chapter 2 verse 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. They appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon them, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. They began to shout out and began speaking a language That was different as the power of God came upon them. Do you know how many people there were on that first time that were receiving the Holy Ghost when God said, I am going to fill people with myself. Acts chapter 1, 13, and in those days Peter stood in the midst of the disciples and he said the number of them together were 120. God, my God, I'm telling you right now, you don't understand what you have inside of you when you represent that New Testament priesthood. You don't understand what you have inside of you when you represent the New Testament priesthood. 120 were in the upper room in one place in one accord and they were filled with the Holy Ghost for the first time 120 why 120 because God said I've got a number and I want the priest to blow the trumpet oh come on somebody don't you find it just a little bit interesting that there were 120 priests trumpeters that issued in the glory of the Lord in the dedication of that Old Testament temple and there were 120 speaking in tongues as the first priesthood Oh, hallelujah. It's because there is a connection. There is a connection to the voice of God speaking through the Holy Ghost. People that are filled with the Spirit of God that say greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm telling you, you've got the voice of the trumpet inside of you. You've got something. It's more than what you understand. You don't understand when you get into the numbers and all of the things and the symbols and the typology. But I'm going to tell you right now. You've got a voice in you. Mm. 
I said, you have a voice in you. You are the New Testament priesthood. If you have been filled with the Holy Ghost as this Bible speaks and you have been baptized in the name of Jesus, you have been born of the water and you have been born of the Spirit. You have been born into the kingdom of the living God. And God said, I'm going to put my voice inside of you. Mighty things happen. When everything else going on in the house of God becomes one with the voice of the trumpet. When everything in the house becomes one with the voice of the trumpet. Mm. I'm going to read this again. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were with one accord in one place. And then suddenly, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and filled the house that they were sitting there, appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. It set upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance. Go back to the Old Testament. Go back to the temple. Second Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13. And it came to pass as the trumpeters and the singers were one. It came to pass as the trumpeters, 120 of them, and the singers and everything else become one. Oh, hallelujah. To be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And they lifted up their voice with the trumpets. I said they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and the cymbals and the instruments of music. And they praised the Lord. And they said, He is good. His mercy endureth forever. And all the house was filled with a cloud the house of the Lord and the priest could not even stand to minister by the reason of the cloud for the glory of the Lord came in the house come on somebody I'm telling you what was going on in Acts is it was the trumpeters 120 of the New Testament priesthood they stood with a spiritual trumpet and they began to herald in the glory of the Lord has filled the house oh hallelujah 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 the glory of the Lord has filled the house. Look what happens when the people are one, rallying with the voice of the trumpet. The glory fills the place. The miracles of the Lord fill the house. The victories of God fill the house. The armies of God fill the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a spiritual sound. I have said this. I said it this morning. We're not here by accident. Don't you think we're here by accident? You are here with a purpose. You are here with a mission. And there is a spiritual sound. And it is piercing. It's the voice of God that guides his people. Is anybody hearing the voice of the trumpet? Is there anybody hearing the voice of the trumpet? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Come on, somebody. We are being rallied. We are being called. We are getting called together with a purpose. And right now, in the midst of this COVID pandemic, I'm telling you, that voice is saying, go forward, church. Go forward, church. Go forward, church. Go forward. 
Yeah, but don't you see the wall? Don't you see what's happening? Don't you see the barriers? Don't you see? You hear me today? When the trumpet sounds and the voice of God is speaking, he's saying, go, now is your time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't you lift your hands for just a moment? Come on, just praise the Lord. Let the Holy Ghost flow through you. Come on, you need to become one with the trumpet. You're not in the rabbi. Don't hold back when you feel something bursting forth out of you and you begin to speak in another language. Let it sound, it sound. It'll penetrate the noises of confusion. It'll penetrate the walls. It'll penetrate the satanic darkness. I'm telling you right now, You've got something inside of you. You've got a voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a sound. There is a spiritual sound. It is a piercing voice that guides the people of God. It guides us and it penetrates through all the other voices. All of the noises and all of the confusions and all the news and all of the stuff everybody's saying and all the stuff that causes your mind to just feel like things are popping and sounds are squilling and it's so much noise and confusion as the author of chaos and confusion is trying. He's trying to get people to lead, to follow him. And they're all messed up and they're all in confusion. There's this voice, this trumpet, the voice of God. It will get your divine attention and it will get you to where you are looking up out of your darkness and seeing truth and the way. Oh, hallelujah. Beloved John. Beloved John in Revelation 4 and 1, and I looked and behold, there was a door that was opened in heaven and the first voice that I heard, it was, it was, it was as a trumpet talking and its messages come up. Whew. My God, I'm going to tell you, friend, on the day of Pentecost in Acts, the second chapter, when they began speaking in tongues, it was 120 of the priesthood sounding the trumpet of God. And it was unto this world. Come up! Come up! Come up! Come out of the religious system. Come up out of the despair. Come up out of the sin. Come up out of the confusion. Come up! Come up hither and be with God! Hallelujah. Oh! hallelujah and the trumpet is still sounding today and it is calling you out of depression and it is calling you out of darkness it's calling you out of bondage it's calling you out of the pit it's calling you out of snake den come up come up come up I'll show you what God wants you to see John said immediately I was in the spirit Hallelujah. My God, it does you a wonder good. Hallelujah. When you leave all that junk and all of a sudden you say, hey, I'm in the spirit. Things look different when you're in the spirit. Faith, boldness. Hallelujah. Our music, our actions, Stuff that we do, our singing, and must become one with the voice of the trumpet. Can you hear the voice of the trumpet? It is calling us, come up. Uh, how many times have you come into the house of God and that trumpet begins sounding? And you rise up out of your despair, out of what you have been in. You rise up and you look back and say, my God, 
Hallelujah. I don't know what in the world was going on. And I was getting tangled up in that stuff. And I was getting so discouraged and down and imprisoned and in the, in the mire. Many people are so confused. Oh, hear me. They are so confused. They're listening to the wrong voices. They're listening to the wrong voices. You better be careful what you're listening to. You just hear me. You better be careful what you're listening to. Hallelujah. Because Lot was vexed by what he seen and what he heard. That's what the Bible talks about when he was in the wrong land. He was vexed day and night by what he seen and what he heard. Those voices of confusion and chaos. God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. God is not the author of confusion. And many people are confused right now because they're becoming one. They're uniting with the wrong voices. They are becoming one with it. They were becoming a part of its system and everything that's going on. Oh, can you hear the voice of the trumpet is, is my question. Can you hear the voice of the trumpet? Because if you can't, you're going to hear all the noise and you're going to hear all the confusion and you're going to hear all the chaos. And I'm going to tell you what that voice, it is calling you to a place and that place has come down. Come down. Come down to the trenches of fear. Come down to discouragement. Come down into doubt. Come down into negativity. Come down into confusion. But there's a clear sound. It's a penetrating sound. It's an atmosphere oh, of the power of God. And it penetrates through every voice and all of the noises, however loud they may get. And it is the voice of the trumpet. Hallelujah. You know, tonight I really had plans. I really, something I wanted to do. We got somebody in our church. I, I found out that he's one of our young men, Brother uh, uh, Keaton, I believe. And uh, he blows a trumpet. And I actually wanted him here tonight. Hallelujah. But because they were around some with COVID, they're not here tonight. So that means I got to blow the trumpet by myself. I, I just want to blow it, okay? Just want to blow the trumpet. And I want you to understand what it represents. Get turned off? You did it for a reason. Didn't want to blast everybody, huh? Now, y'all, that's a sorry sounding blowing. I'm not a trumpeter no more. I used to be a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. There was a dad played a trumpet in church. I don't know that, do you? It goes back way long, long, long time ago. Stuck a little rubber thing in the end of it so it wouldn't be so piercing. I don't know what you're saying. My wife's talking to me. <laughs> but if you play a trumpet in church, you can't just play the trumpet. You've you got to have a muffle in that thing because it has a way of dominating all the other sounds. What does that say? Yeah, Sister Bounds is back there. <laughs> My wife said, I believe that's Sister Bounds back there. I seen him walk in. Hallelujah. In my younger days, in my younger days, hey amen, I remember, I believe it was Deer Park, Texas. Deer Park, Te Brother Blackburn pastors there. And there was a time, y'all don't even know this, but the pastor before him actually called me, asked me if I'd be pastor, wanted me to come in there and be the pastor behind him. 
before Brother Blackburn went there, but that didn't that wasn't God's plan. I didn't feel it. Uh, but there was a time I sat in that church at one time, and a young, younger guy, and I played my, I played a trumpet. I had the little muffle in the end because I'm telling you, the trumpet does dominate. And all the other noises of confusion might be going on, but if somebody just really knows how to blow a trumpet, it'll penetrate all of it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Are y'all still with me? Does anybody hear the voice of the trumpet? <laughs> Is anybody? Come on. There's a lot of folks out there have no idea what's going on. Just think we just caught up in some kind of pandemic. No, friend, this is worldwide. This is an antichrist system that is trying to come into play. It's where Satan is pulling out the stops and saying, "Is now, this is the hour. The only thing standing before that system they want to bring in is the church. As long as you're here, he cannot do what he wants to do. Uh, but very soon, friend, the voice is going to be taken out of here. The voice of God is going to be taken out of here. The voice of God that hears the sound of the trumpet. One day, God's going to sound the trumpet. And when it does, we're going to rally. But until then, we got a voice inside of us. Come on, somebody. And it disrupts all the noises that Satan's got going on. He's pumping it up. And he's moving through the media. And he's moving through the newspapers. And he's moving through every possible way. Everybody's got an iPhone. Everybody's got something pumping into their head. Pumping into their mind. Pumping into their spirit. But God's got something still in this world. And we got a trumpet in us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We've got a trumpet in us. And that trumpet, it opposes, it opposes that anti-Christ stuff. As all that stuff has its purpose to pull you down into the pit of hell. We got a purpose to pull them up. Oh, oh, my Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. What are you doing, Pastor? I'll tell you what I'm doing. There are people watching right now that are sick out there. There are people out there with COVID. There are people out there messed up in confusion and doubt and despair. But I've got something inside of me. It is a voice of the trumpet. And it is saying, come up. Rise out of your junk. Rise above that. God will raise you up. God will raise you up. Come up higher. Hallelujah, it's only a trumpet. Yeah, but I understand what it represents. I understand. God put something in us. God put something in me. God put something in you. And we're blowing the trumpet. The voice of God is calling. You don't got to be going down. You don't have to go down in the pit of darkness, in the pit of hell. Do not become ensnared by the sounds of confusion and chaos. You need to say today, when you walk out of this room, you need to say, I was in the spirit. I was in the spirit. When you get in the spirit, something happens and you begin to look up. Look up, your redeemer draws near. Look up. Look up, look up, look up. Chaos and confusion. It's trying to say, come, come down, come into the pit. 
come into my domain, Satan's domain, Satan's turf is down. He wants to get you on his turf. He wants to get you paralyzed. He wants to paralyze you spiritually. He wants to paralyze revival. He wants to paralyze the progress of the church. He's called Lucifer. He's the fallen angel. Lucifer was cast down. The Lord said, I beheld him as lightning. Pow! Hallelujah. He's got a place and it is down. He's going to be cut down and he is being brought down into the pit of darkness and into the pit of hell and he's got a strategy in his little bit of time he's got left and that is to beat you down, hold you down, pull you down and get you to start thinking down. As that New Testament priesthood Begin sounding the alarm. Begin sounding the trumpets. It was a voice that was loud. And it penetrated confusion. And it penetrated despair. And it penetrated fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Come on. I said God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of love. And of power. And of a sound mind, I've come to blow the trumpet of Zion. I said, I've come to blow the trumpet of Zion. I stand with 120 on the day of Pentecost. I stand with 120 priests in the Old Testament that sounded the trumpet and said, Behold the glory of the Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. And as the trumpeters and as the singers become one, the glory of the Lord filled the house. Hallelujah. Mm. I love it. I was talking on the phone yesterday today, Brother David back there in the multimedia. He running all that stuff by himself over here on the media side. It takes three people, and he's, he's running it by himself right now. And he, he, he just began to talk to me. I was going back to, I believe it's Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the year that the King Uzziah had died, they started talking about the funeral. Immediately, he said, I saw also the Lord. Get your eyes off the funeral. I saw also the Lord. His train filled the temple. Oh, oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you, that's what's got to happen every time you get into the place that you call the funeral. When you get into the place that's called the dark spot, you need to see the also that fills the house. And you need to get your eyes instantly off of the stuff that pulls you down and look up and see the also as a train fills the temple. And I see there are angels that cry, holy, holy, holy. And the glory of the Lord fills the earth. Oh, come on, I'm preaching because I'm telling you, there has been an attack on you like you have never known before. There is an attack on the church. It is to wear out the saints. It is wear out the saints. We're going to keep having revival. I don't care what anybody says. We're going to keep having revival. We're going to stay in the forward movement. And we're going to keep taking back and sounding the sound. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. You've not been given a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a Sound mind. Anybody have a concordance? Have you ever run a concordance? Uh, exhaust where you can actually run a full concordance. If you run a concordance on the word down, you're going to come up with 1,126 times you're going to find it in the Bible. King James Version, of course. If you run the concordance on the word up, you're going to find 2,382 of them. There's a whole lot more ups than there are downs. If it's going to be in the kingdom of God in his word, I'm going to tell you right now. There's a whole lot more people coming up than there are going down. Oh, hallelujah. 
Somebody say, I'm coming up. Somebody say, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I'm coming out. I am not going to be down in that depression. I am not. The devil is a liar. I'm not going to listen to him. I don't care what he's popping. If he's popping it, it's deception. Where sin aboundeth, grace doth much more abound. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The voice of the trumpet. The voice of the trumpet. Go through the word of God. The voice of the trumpet. It is a call to go up. Think upward. Lift up your voice. Go up the mountain of God. Get up. Rise up. Look up. Stir up. Lift up your eyes. Build up. Take up your bed and walk. Y'all just got to let me have some church because I, I'm telling you right now, I'm sounding a trumpet. I'm sounding a trumpet. I'm sounding a trumpet of God. Somebody's going to come up. They're coming out. And that sickness is not going to have its power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lucifer. Lucifer, that angel, that fallen angel that went down. He was the cherub of ornaments. Well, I feel really attached to all my jewels. He was the cherub of ornaments and music. Ezekiel gives the details about him, about the fallen cherub, and reveals insight of the pre-fall history of Satan. Lucifer, he was the music leader. Hallelujah. He was. He made music when he moved. He didn't play it. He made music when he moved. And he was beautiful. Jewels. Ezekiel 28 and 13, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, and every precious stone was your covering. The sardas, the topaz, the diamond, the pearl, the orange, jasper, sapphire, and emerald, the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. The anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so, thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire, and thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created until iniquity was found in you. The prophet Isaiah, he continues adding insight, and I don't have time to go on with all these things, and he lets you know that Lucifer had also harps as a part of his musical gifting. Isaiah 14 and 11, thy pomp is brought down to the grave. That pride, I'm, my makeup is the jewels that people would love to have. That was his makeup. And when he moved, he made music. Thy pomp was brought down to the grave. And the noise of thy vials, and if you study that out, vials mean harps. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations. This is what I'm covering right now. His makeup did not include the trumpet. you study it out, he was made up of wind instruments, string instruments, percussion instruments, but not the brass instruments or the trumpets. He had three of the four main musical groups created within him. 
the pipes, which were associated with the wind instruments, the harp, which was associated with the string instruments, the timbrels, which were the percussion instruments. But God never gave Lucifer the trumpet because God reserved the voice of the trumpet for himself. To represent his voice speaking through time, through his prophets. Hello. 1 Corinthians 14 and 7, and even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it you be know what is piped or played or harped? And if the trumpet gives an uncertain sound, who shall be prepared for battle? Prophet Joel, two and one, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm in my holy mountain. And let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. And for it is nigh at hand. I'm sounding a trumpet. I'm telling you the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. And in the short time that we still have left, uh, friend, it's time for the Holy Ghost filled saints of God. You have got the power of God inside of you. You better start blowing the trumpet, calling people to come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come out, come up. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 It's time for the church to be the church. To be the church. Because very soon the last trumpet is going to sound. And we're out of here. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. I show a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, the dead in Christ are gone. <laughs> oh, oh, what a day it's going to be. Here comes mama. Here comes daddy. Here comes grandpa. Oh, here comes babies. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The grave is going to open up. There ain't no grave going to come up. Hold my body down. That trumpet just sounded, and that was the final. Oh, hallelujah. And when he says, come up, you're coming out. Oh, Mm. Anybody ready? Is there anybody ready? And if you're going to survive until that day comes, there's something you got to do. And that is you got to seek the face of God like you've never sought it before. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to end with something that I've connected back in. It was a Wednesday night. It wasn't too long ago, but several weeks ago because all the stuff and everything, but... I begin to preach about repentance. Everybody remember the, the message. Repentance, the moment you begin repenting, there's a covering that comes upon you. God covers you under the shadow of the Almighty God. Because everything is exposed and open, everything. Hallelujah, but God covers us. Thank God for the blood. Aren't you thankful for the blood? Hallelujah. Thankful for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. When we repent, we shall be forgiven. Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. But I begin to speak about it. And I begin to talk about it. And I begin to talk about repentance. And it comes out of a scripture that everybody in here is familiar with in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I'm going to heal. I'm going to hear from heaven. I'm going to forgive their sin, and I'm going to heal their land. Repentance. When we repent, something starts happening. But there's something else that God says we should do, and we should seek his face. Seek his face. You say, what? Seek his face. What is that connected to? What is it? Seeking his face. Seeking his face is following his voice that is calling you to come up higher. Hallelujah. Hello. 
the voice of the trumpet has come up. Notice the description of those that seek the face of God. Psalms 24 and 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? He's the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. This is the generation of those that seek the face of God. If you seek the face of God, you're going to come up. You're going to lift up your doors. You're going to lift up your heart. You're going to lift up your voice. You're going to lift up and the glory of God is going to come in and he's going to deliver you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are you one of those that say, yes, Lord, I'm coming up? Yes, Lord, hallelujah, I'm coming up. I'm seeking the face of God. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I'm opening up. Come on. We've been reserved long enough. We're trying to keep ourselves intact. Trying to keep ourselves all just pretty. Trying to keep ourselves from Seek the face of God again. Open yourself up and come up. Lift up your doors and let the glory of God come in. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come in. Let the sound of a trumpet begin to burst forth out of you. Come on. Will you become one with the trumpet? Will you become one with the trumpet? The trumpet is sounding. It is calling us higher. Come up higher. Lift up your heads. Lift up your gates. Lift up your doors. Lift up your eyes. Come up higher. Come up higher. Come up higher. Come up higher in service. Come up higher in sincerity. Come up higher in worship. Come up higher in an appetite for the spiritual things of God. Come up higher in your commitment in the kingdom of God. Come up higher in your praying. Seek the kingdom of God first. First. First above everything else. God knows what you have need of. God knows all the things. But seek you first. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. I'm doing everything I can. And I'm doing everything I can in the spirit. I'm doing everything I can as a prophet. I'm doing everything I can as a man of God to blow the trumpet. Hallelujah, hallelujah, come up higher, come up higher, come up higher, get up, lift up your eyes, lift up your voice, lift up your heart, and take up your bed. Will you stand to your feet with me? I need you helping me right now. I need everybody helping me right now. Some of you think it's just another message. It's not another sermon. We're doing things in the spirit. We've got a purpose. We've got a mission. We've got a sound, a trumpet, the voice of God. Hallelujah. Say yes, God. 
I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I'm rising up. I'm going to walk out of this sickness. I'm going to walk out of this despair. I'm going to walk out of this depression. I'm going to walk out of this pit. I'm coming out of this addiction. I'm coming out of this terrible negative mindset that's driving my actions in a bad way. New Testament church, you are the New Testament priesthood. I said you are the New Testament priesthood. You're a holy nation. You're a peculiar people. You have been called with a purpose. Show forth your praises unto God that has called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Sound the trumpet. Sound the trumpet of Zion. Sound the trumpet of Zion. Mamas, begin wailing in the darkness of the night. Mamas, begin blowing your trumpet and penetrate through the walls of darkness and reach unto the children and pull them up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, I'll never forget, I'll never forget, I'll never forget coming home after being out all night long, coming home drunk. Drunk, I don't even know what took place that night. I have no idea and I know that I was driving. And I come home in the wee hours of the morning and I come walking through the door of the house and mama was on the floor weeping and crying and she had tears all over her face and I thought somebody done mama wrong. I said, mama, what happened? She said, nothing, baby. I'm praying for you. Oh, I don't nothing. I don't remember nothing about that night. But I believe there was a sound that was piercing the darkness and was bringing this boy back home safely. I'm praying for you. We've got to start sounding the trumpet again. Come on. He says, who are these? It is like a cloud of doves coming back to their home. Who are these? I'll tell you who they are. And they're your sons and your daughters. And they're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. That's who they are. It's like a cloud. It's like a cloud in the sky. It's like home and doves coming home. But there's so many. That's who they are. That's who they are. We've got a little bit of time left. And we've got a sound. The sound of God the voice of the trumpets they'll be like me and they'll say I don't even remember the night I don't even remember what was going on in my life all those years. I was in such confusion. But somehow I come home and they're going to say, what happened to y'all? Why are you crying, baby? We're praying for you. We've got a voice inside of us and we are sounding our trumpets again. We are blowing it for the last time. This one is the one saying come up to everybody around us. And then there's soon to be the one that calls all of us come up. When you speak in tongues, you don't know what's going on there. But I'm telling you, there is groanings and utterances, utterances that, that words cannot describe. And it is the groanings of the Spirit. It is the voice of the trumpet. It is the voice of the trumpet. It is the voice of the trumpet. You are the priesthood. Blow the trumpet of Zion. Oh. Oh. It pierced. 
pierces the confusion. It pierces the loud beat of the drum. It pierces it. It penetrates the voice of the trumpet. It is inside of you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let it out. Lift up your voice and let it sound forth the sound. Come on, come on, come on. You've got the voice of God in you. Come on, blow the trumpet of Zion. Blow the trumpet of Zion. Blow the trumpet of Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are these? They're like the ships uh, coming back from Tarshish. Uh, what is Tarshish? Uh, it's the place uh, where they run from God to. Uh, that's where uh, you read about the man. Uh, he was running from God. Uh, he got on the ship of Tarshish uh, and he went down. He went down. It just says he went down. He went down into the ship and he went down into the pit. He went down. Tarshish was where he was headed. Uh, who are these in the ships coming from Tarshish? It's your sons and daughters is who it is. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. We're sounding the trumpet. We're calling them home. It's time for them to come up. It's time for them to come up. It's time for them to come up. It's time for all of us to sound the trumpet. Sound the trumpet. Blow the voice of God is in that trumpet. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm going up to the high places, going up to the high places, going up to the high places, going to tear the devil's kingdom. Down. I'm going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going to tear the devil's kingdom down. I'm going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going to tear the I'm going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going up, going up to the high places, going to tear the devil's kingdom down. 
We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. Oh, what he said was his has been ours all along. I'm gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. I'm going up, going up to the high. Oh, I'm going up, going up to the high places. Going up, going up to the high places. Gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. We've been deceived by the devil too long. We're gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. What he said was his has been ours all along. I tear the devil's kingdom down. Going up, going up to the high places. Going up, going up to the high places. Going up, going up to the high places. Gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. We got to be strong. We got to be bold. We're gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. We're gonna reclaim what. The devil's door, we're gonna tear the devil's kingdom down. I'm going up, going up to the high place. I'm going up. Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Martin, and I just want to thank y'all for joining us today tuning in and being a part of our service. We hope that it was a blessing to you and that you were uplifted and encouraged and felt the presence of the Lord. If you would like to know more about our church, please join us at www.atascacitaupc.com and you will find all of the ministries. You will find pictures where you could take a journey and see everything that's been going on at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And uh, we hope that you join us again very soon. God bless you.